Hey guys, it's Luke from Adam Builds. So, a couple of you guys have asked for a quick demo video of how to actually program the 10,000 DPI gaming mouse from Kmart. So, super quick. In order to create, oh geez, in order to create a new profile, which will be selectable from up here, we first go to this config button, new, and then we're going to name it, um, let's just call it Battlefront 2, okay? Um, and just for good measure, we're going to create another one and we're going to call it... Uh... Okay, so now you'll notice up here in the drop down, we've got, no, no, loading, profiles to select. So guarantee you, you can see how this is still blinking. Okay, so let's start out by selecting that BF2, Battlefront 2. Um, let's make it, so I've, I've already done a couple of quick macro edits, just some uh, grenade G uh, for reload. So I've made up some random sort of ones that require a couple of keystrokes here so uh, anyway so I have some macros uh, and basically in order to do a macro all you need to do is create a new one um, then hit start recording um, hit you know what you would like it to type and then hit stop recording then to name it all you got to do is double click type in what do you want to call it and just if it's flashing here it means that it hasn't been saved just click off of it and that should save it okay so that's that we've got our macros for everything that we need uh, exiting out of that we're in battlefield uh, battlefield battlefront 2 so we're gonna go to this key here this forward key so this guy here what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to where it says macro function. So you see here, key four, forward key, and I am going to call that the, let's call that one the nade. Nade. The back key, I'm going to want reload. Reload. This also helps seeing exactly what's going on. The middle key, you know, you, you could put melee whatever your melee might be um, and then obviously your sniper key you can make um, a macro as well or you can edit the you know, double fire whatever it might be so let, let's call it double fire okay now as you can see down in the bottom right hand corner the button is red that means that we've made a change and we've not saved it so if we click that We'll get a little load and the save button has gone blue. That means that this is now saved. So if we go back to our standard, you'll see everything over here has returned to normal. Everything here has returned to normal. And when we go back to front, front there we go, there we go, there we go. So let's see, Fortnite now. Let's do a little bit of a little bit here. Um, So we've got our settings set, the button is red, click it, it's now blue. So what we have is now a mouse that is set up for Battlefront 2, not really but anyway, <laughs> theoretically set up for Fortnite and then just the standard function. So it doesn't automatically switch between these like some other gaming mouse do where you might have a preset macro for certain games. Um, Razer with that thousand buttons on the side, they've got a, a few things set up for individual games and, and whatnot. This is more manual. You need to know what game you're about to go launch and then make sure that in this software it's launched the right profile selected. Alright guys, so that's a video that I've 
sort of had a few questions about how to's so hopefully this clears this up a bit for you if you've got any questions or comments or that please pop them down below don't forget to give a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe to see more videos like this and also some reviews and some build videos that I have coming up anyway guys I'll catch you in the next one